November, Romeo Oscar, one more time on your call sign, please. One more time on your call sign, please. Okay, I copy it as uh, Kilo Charlie 9, November Romeo Oscar. Is that a Roger? November Romeo Oscar. Is that a Roger? Okay, November Romeo Oscar. Why don't you give me about 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna system so I can look around uh, for a better path for us, Roger? Around uh, for a better path for us, Roger. Indianapolis, Indiana, and um, that's the uh, location. Okay, November Romeo Oscar, I've got you on my uh, local antenna. And uh, so now, uh, if you would, why don't you tell me about the best thing you like about uh, uh, your radio in about 10 to 15 seconds, so I can listen to you just for a moment. I've been experimenting with a new homebrew microphone. This is a um, small 20 watt radio. It's an FX-4CR. FX-4CR. Currently, I'm running 4 watts. I'm driving an Elecraft KSP-100 amplifier. Okay, I copy that as uh, FS4CR, is that a Roger? KSL Foxtrot X-Ray dash 4, Charlie Romeo. Yes sir, and what's the name there? FX dash 4CR, name here is Greg. Okay, Greg, and uh, what's your location again? Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Roger, that's right. And I think you may be a little hot uh, into your uh, ALC. Let's just check a couple of things. Uh, does that have a variable uh, bandwidth, uh, transmit bandwidth, or, or is that fixed? It's got very limited uh, menu items. It does have a transmit bandwidth. I have it set on 3K, 3 kilohertz. Okay, why don't you try, do you have 100 to 2900? 100 to 2900, do you have that? I'll look in the menu real quick. Oh, uh, the menu is just got like one through five, so let me glance at the menu real quick. Uh, repeat that last. The menu is 0 through 5, so I had to grab a manual real quick. So choices are 1.5, 1.8, 2.1, 2.4, 2.7, and 3 kilohertz. Okay, um, well, let's see. Let's, let's uh, try. Does it have a, a, a compressor limiter? There is a new menu item that just came out with a firmware release. It's TX AF COP, which that might be a limiter. I don't know. I haven't experimented with it yet. Okay, you're a little hot uh, into your AOC. So uh, what I want you to do is uh, uh, you've got an AOC meter, Roger. Okay, uh, do you have an ALC uh, reading on your meter? Do you have an ALC reading on your meter? Uh, negative. This is just a basic uh, Chinese radio, $550, um, so a 20-watt radio, so no ALC just reading that I can see on a meter. Just an F meter and a power out. Okay, what I want you, and where is your, um, your microphone uh, reading at the moment? What's your microphone level at the moment? Three zero. Okay, uh, take it to two zero. Take it to two zero. Copy, I've changed it to two zero. Change my mic to 20. 
uh, it doesn't doesn't change the peaks very much. The distortion isn't quite as bad, but um, uh, the peak is still there. <laughs> Um, hmm, and I'm surprised it doesn't have an AOC reference. Uh, for how would how did they tell you to set your mic level? Uh, they don't give too much information. This radio is um, designed and built by one person. His name is gg 2 fx and uh, he does respond to questions, but his uh, English translation is limited. Roger, Roger. Well, it's a uh, it's a little distorted. It's, it's, it seems to be about uh, right at the moment three dB dynamic range, but it is uh, does have a little peak distortion uh, to it. Roger. Yes, sir. Stand by, and I'll switch to the factory microphone. Oh yes, sir. Do that. Okay, the uh, factory microphone is just a very small, basic electric, electric microphone, and uh, we'll see if this one sounds any different. Yes, sir. It doesn't have the distortion quite uh, like the other one. Uh, I think we could work with that one. Uh, do you have uh, an onboard uh, EQ uh, uh, system? Uh, nobody has no equalization at all. You've got um, a mic uh, level. And there is the new menu item I have in the screen with TXAF comp. I could play with that one a little bit. See if that's open. Does that, uh, does that uh, mean you do have some equalization capabilities? I do not know. There's only one menu item that recently showed up with the last firmware adjustment. It's called TXAF COMP. So I'm assuming it's transmit audio comp, is what I'm thinking. Yes, sir. Do you have that installed uh, that we could check it out, or do you have to uh, uh, set that up yet? I'll go in the menu real quick, and I'll pick it up uh, by a value of 10. We'll see if that changes. Stand by. All right, uh, the other thing I was going to ask you, uh, uh, Greg, uh, is um, uh, it does it, is it putting out what it said it's uh, supposed to put out, or, or is it exceeding its capabilities? Those uh, seem to match pretty good when I pick it up for a watt meter. Again, I've got it back down to 4 watts, and I'm driving an Elecraft KXPA 100 amplifier, so it's doing anywhere from 70 to 100 watts. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Yeah, that transmit AF comp, I did boost it up by 10 to a value of 20. Any difference? Seems to be not quite as distorted, Roger. But I imagine your output has dropped drastically. Is that a Roger? Well, yeah, it seems like it. When I look at my meter on my amp, I'm doing about 70 watts peak. I think I was doing 100 watts peak. Yeah, I, I was thinking about maybe we could uh, try to. Uh, to uh, sharpen up that EQ a little bit, uh, uh, put the um, EQ point a little higher and roll off some of the bottom and therefore maybe reduce some of the bass. But on the other hand, what you can do is back off the mic a little bit and then turn it up. Back off the mic a little bit and then turn up the level and that way uh, you will um, uh, defeat proximity effect. Roger, Roger. I turned up the mic and I backed off to about four inches, four inches away from the microphone. That's much better. Now go for five inches. Go for five inches. We're at uh, five inches now, straight on, five inches straight on. Yes, sir, and then bring your audio gain up. Bring your mic gain up. Um, five inches at an angle. And uh, bring your um, mic gain up uh, a little bit. I've raised the mic gain to 35. Mic gain has been raised to 35, five inches away from the microphone. Five inches away from the microphone. Roger, bring your mic gain up some more.
Mike Gain is now at 4-0. Mike Gain is at 4-0, five inches away from microphone. Five inches away from microphone. Roger, bring your gain up some more. Mike Gain is now at 50. Mike Gain is now at 50, five inches away from microphone. That sounds really good. That, then the distortion is really minimal. So what I think was happening was uh, you might have been overdriving uh, the uh, front end of that system, either the microphone or the uh, down the line, because now that you've backed off the microphone and you've increased the gain of the microphone, it really sounds nice. Roger? QSL, QSL, I'm going to try five inches, five inches. Now we're about at 10 inches. 10 inches, 10 inches. Now we're back to about 5 inches, 5 inches. Yeah, I think I'd run with 5 inches, and, and your audio gain is uh, at what? 5-0, five 5-0, zero, five zero. my gain is at 50. Yes, sir. I think I'd run it just like that because I think you're achieving even a, be uh, even a better level than where you were without the distortion. What, is your, uh, what does it look like your RF uh, output is from that device? Let me uh, do some checking. Yeah, RF output has gone up. It's speaking at 110 every once in a while, 110 on my aircraft amp. So raising the mic gain has also driven the uh, 100 watt amp a lot better. Yeah, I would run it just like that. Uh, it does have a little bit of distortion in it, but nowhere near what it did uh, when we first started. And uh, you'll hear that in the recording if you want to hear your audio. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, that will take you uh, to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,800, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. It's uh, KC9 VKV. Uh, followed by the word logbook on a YouTube search. Roger. Uh, yeah, I've uh, used that before with my Allcraft KX3. I talked to you about a year ago, and I appreciate your service you provide us. Yes, sir. Well, like I say, it still does have some distortion, but it's cleaner uh, than it was, and it's louder than what it was. So uh, I would take it and run with it. <laughs> and so 73 there, uh, Greg, and you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. Roger. QSL, thank you for your time. Thank you uh, for helping me adjust things. 7-3, KC-9, NRO. Roger, roger, NRO. This is a KC-9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.